Mayor, make a motion to authorize the police chief to surplus the list of firearms and accessory to leads for future credit to be used by the police department. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Agenda Bill 21-10, Mutual Law Enforcement Assistance Agreement Conducting Vehicular Pursuits. Good. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, I move that we authorize the city attorney, the police chief, and the mayor to sign the mutual law enforcement assistance agreement. Second. I have a question. Yes. Yes. Um, page 15 of 18, I'm just concerned that the um, name of the police chief might not be correct, or is it correct? And that will be changed up for Mr. McDaniel. That would be updated. Yeah. And this has been in, in process yeah. for a while. So as well as uh, I think the address for uh, the Washington Police Department is listed at 1400 A Street. That would be correct. Mm -hmm. well. okay. Yes, Rod. Chief, <coughs> did you run this at all by WCIA? Uh, how, what's their opinion on pursuits? And well, I think they, they're, uh, I did not know, but I can, I'm, I'm sure that any pursuit policy that really specifies what we can and cannot pursue would be embraced by them. And uh, basically, uh, when I started in law enforcement, pursuits kind of policies ran from the department to department as far as what you, what you would pursue and not pursue for. And, and they've whittled it down now to uh, basically property crimes we will not pursue it's uh, violent felonies things of that nature that we will pursue now um, state patrol is the only agency that will still pursue for uh, like a fail to yield hmm. John did you have any uh, corrections or anything in this no I didn't I you know we we have dealt with WCA on this and they, they like you to have a, a clear policy I can see that coming yeah. very quickly yeah. so I mean I think it's a good effort with the, the joint uh, law enforcement agencies in the county to do something uniform because if you don't have a uniform <coughs> that's different from here to Camas and Camas to Washougal and the county, then nobody's on the same page. Well, so. and I like it here too, where it says that the the uh, officer in charge from from any agency that outranks the others gets to make those decisions whether to call it off or continue it, and right. you know at least it, it puts somebody with authority in place because inevitably it'll be one of your guys that's got the least amount of experience that gets involved in this, and it's. So it's good to have that leadership, even if it's from another agency. Exactly. Yeah, I, I just wanted to comment. I was very impressed with the uh, careful wording and the restraints on uh, pursuit. Uh, any of us who have watched TV over the past decade or so have seen some uh, pursuits that maybe led to nightmares. and. Uh, I, I think this document does a very good job of, of limiting that. And my, uh, my thanks and commendations to our department and all of the other departments who were involved in this. Other comments, questions? 
I just wanted to point out, uh, I spoke with uh, Chief Mitchell earlier today about this uh, policy, and one thing I do want to uh, uh, congratulate um, all the negotiators uh, who are involved with this is specifically with regards to unmarked vehicles uh, when they're pursuing that if they have another marked vehicle that is uh, joining the pursuit that they let the marked vehicle take the lead. And I, I think that's a very good direction to go. And yeah, it's a very clearly written policy uh, from what I can tell, so. I also Thank noticed you. in there that there will only be a specific number of chasing them instead of the next 30 agencies <laughs> going down the freeway with this yeah. line that's Join in. five yeah. miles long yeah. with yeah. patrol cars. Yeah, there's so no more train, so to speak. So which one re remains in your mind longer? Um, the Blues Brothers or <laughs> Bullet? <laughs> one of the two. <laughs> okay, with that, uh, we've got a motion and a second on the floor. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, switching the agenda items, now going to Agenda Bill 23-10, proposed impound fee increases. Chief? Okay. Mr. Mayor, Council, uh, under the present impound fee schedule, the City of Washougal charges a boarding fee of $5 per day for impounded dogs. Uh, the City is charged a fee of $10 a day by the West Columbia Gorge Humane Society for Im the uh, impounded dogs. This proposal asks uh, the City well, should go to increase the boarding rates to ten dollars a day to match what we what we're being charged by the Humane Society. Uh, the recommended action would be to read the ordinance by title only, pass, post, and publish the ordinance in the usual manner. Mr. Mayor, I move that we read the ordinance by title only. Second. We've got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? An ordinance amending Washougal Municipal Code 8.08.0901A to increase the daily boarding charge from $5 to $10 per day. Mr. Mayor, I move that we pass, post, and publish the ordinance in the usual manner. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any yeah. discussion? Yes. Yeah, I, I think it's interesting. Since we're talking about the dog fees, I remember in the past that we've had, calm, had evenings when <clears throat> we sat down and we're going to talk about a $5 million uh, sewer treatment plant upgrade or you know budget adjustment and not one word from the com from the from the citizens mm. but if we change the uh, licensing fee we'd have 50 people out here that were in here up in arms so it's interesting how what's important I hear that I have a question yes. I wanted to ask uh, both the finance director and the police chief if it's may be appropriate to raise it to say 1250 because there certainly are administrative charges and I mean it costs the city money to handle the paper and and all of the other things and um, we're still kind of giving away the candy store here if, if we charge exactly what we're charged we do charge impound fees too on top of the, the boarding fee oh okay and and do you have any sense, RJ, are those adequate to cover the cost, at least kind of? On the impound stuff? Not even close. In my mind, not even close. We, it's on a graduated basis. What's the first trigger, $25? 25, dollars? 25 Somewhere uh, there. 75 and 150 Yet our portion of the uh, animal control budget is well in excess of $100,000. So we don't even come close to covering what it takes to impound them. I'm looking at it on a, a, as purely on an annual basis. Do you have basis. any sense of, of roughly how much over the course of a year 